I tried to make it Christmassy in here, but I've got this like sad little tree. I tried to put lights on it, but he just fell over. I can relate, you know? Can't be shiny every day. I've been and welcome back to Backaloo Cottage. Today we are continuing our holiday video series at Rock Recipes and we are making the creme de la creme Newfoundland Christmas cookie. I think it is our number one most searched for Newfoundland recipe. The one, the only, the snowball. We're making snowballs today and if you grew up here you are definitely familiar with these cookies. Your nan probably made them, your mom probably made them, the whole family extended. Everyone has snowballs at Christmas. If you are not from this happy little province, a snowball is essentially a little chocolatey fudgy coconut oat ball and they are so simple to make. It's a no-bake cookie, so no oven needed. Just a couple of minutes on top of the oven to get the mixture rolling. I love snowballs. When I was a little kid, they were always around at Christmas. My dad would keep dozens of them in the freezer, and me and my brother would like sneak down into the basement and sneak them out of the container and eat them frozen. I love eating them frozen. Um, I think it's still my favorite way to eat them just because of like the nostalgia from being a kid when you finally had a Christmas dinner and you wanted to give people cookies and lo and behold, you know, if you keep a couple of dozen cookies hiding away in a freezer, guess who's gonna eat them? We are. I am. I'm an adult and I will still eat all of the cookies out of the freezer. There's a couple of tricks to make these perfect because a snowball, despite it being simple, can easily um, be ruined by over boiling your sugar and butter mixture. But the number one thing I would recommend to make this recipe a success is using either a candy thermometer or a meat thermometer if you don't have a candy thermometer. Basically, if you overboil your sugar and butter and milk mixture, um, it's going to create just this hard, crystally ball that is not going to be fun to bite into. You want it nice and soft and chewy and taking its temperature. Taking its temperature? Is that how you put it? Bringing it to the perfect temperature with this bad boy is going to make them perfect and fudgy exactly how you want them. This is a big recipe, by the way. So when you see this copious amount of sugar, do not panic. Um, it's a very large recipe. Okay, to start, we have three cups of granulated sugar. I'm just gonna pop this in a large saucepan. Um, and you kind of want it to be quite big because it is going to foam up when you put it on the stove. Uh, so you wanna make sure you have lots of room to keep things contained. Okay, now I have three quarters of a cup of melted butter. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right in there. And to finish it off, I'm going to add one and one quarters of a cup of milk. Then what you wanna do is stir this mixture well because once it goes on the stove to boil, you don't wanna to touch it. We are not going to stir this as it's boiling. We are simply going to take a step back, let it do its thing. We're gonna trust the process. So yeah, nice and incorporated before we put it on the stove. So now we're gonna bring this over to the stove. I'm going to pop that on medium high heat and bring it to a rolling boil. Once we've got it to a rolling boil, I'm gonna wait about five to six minutes take its temperature. You want it to hit 225 degrees to 30 on the high end. Basically that is your perfect candy point to making these snowballs fudgy and delicious. And that's what we're after. So here we go over to the stove. Great, so I've just taken my mixture off of the stove top. Now I'm gonna work on the dry ingredients. Here in this bowl, I have three cups of rolled oats. To that, I am going to add three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. 
as well as one cup of dried unsweetened fine coconut. Uh, you want to use unsweetened here because otherwise the cookie is going to be like sickly sweet. Just going to stir this to combine. Sometimes you make a mess, you know? They don't want you to see the mess, but I'll show you the mess. I know what it's like. Now, now I'm coming in with our boiled mixture of butter, sugar, and milk. I'm going to add this to our bowl of dry ingredients. Oh, she is full. That is a full bowl. We're going to need a bigger bowl. So now we're going to stir this to combine. Nice and easy. Oh my god, that is smelling so fudgy, buttery, chocolatey. You want to make sure that this is nicely mixed all the way through, that you've coated all of those oats. Perfect! That is the cooking part of it done. The next thing to do is the hardest part, it's just waiting. Basically this is still really hot, you're not going to be able to roll this into balls yet. So we're going to wait, we're going to bring it down to room temperature and then pop it in the fridge. You can actually just pop this in the fridge overnight and then roll the balls the next morning if you are impatient, like I am. I'm going to bring this down to room temp and then pop it in the freezer just to get it to firm up quickly so I can roll these balls and show you how to assemble them. So. Over here we go. Okay, so we have chilled our snowball mixture. I let this go to room temperature and then chilled it down in the fridge for a couple of hours. You can see that it has thickened up quite a bit. It is now kind of malleable as opposed to just a liquid. But honestly, I probably could have let this stay in the fridge for a little longer. Um, but I am working against the daylight because it is now three o'clock and in Newfoundland, that means the sun is going to set in like an hour or less. Um, so you may want to let this get completely firm first. I would recommend it, but again, do as I say, not as I do. These are probably the messiest cookies you can roll, but once they're done, they're done. So you just gotta commit to the bit and we're gonna get it done. We're looking at about one and a half inch balls. And then just rolling that in another layer of coconut. Okay, they're too soft. I've decided they're too soft. So, what I'm gonna do, put them back in the fridge. Why we snowball? It's a little softer than I would like, but alas, it's gonna be delicious. Let's try it. To me, that just tastes like being a kid. I ate so many of these when I was growing up. I think I'm just gonna love them for the rest of my life because of that. Snowballs. To know them is to love them. Honestly, these are so tasty. They're fudgy and chocolatey and coconutty and it got that nice bite from the oats. Gives a little bit of a textural component. If you love them as much as me, I hope you will try them. And if you have never had them before, I hope this encourages you to try them. Thank you so much for tuning in and I would love to see your snowballs. If you make these at home, please tag us in your posts. If you want to make these snowballs at home, you can find them on rockrecipes.com. Follow along with me in this video or you can find them in our very first Rock Recipes cookbook. I don't know what page. Cakes. 
Oh, those look good. Snowballs. Nan Morgan snowballs. Uh, I never met Nan Morgan. She was my great grandmother, but I hear she was a friggin' character. So yeah, these snowballs are for her. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and happy holidays. This time